What's up, Pit Boss Nation? Today, we are getting a little fancy. That's right, we are cooking up some whole lobsters with a beautiful lemon, garlic, herb, butter. We're gonna serve that with some great summer asparagus and we're gonna put a classic hollandaise over top of that. That's all coming up right now on Platinum Grilling with me, Chef Sean O'Neill. Welcome back to Platinum Grilling. I am your host, Chef Sean O'Neill. Today, we have the Pit Boss Platinum Series KC Combo fired up. We've got the grill side set to 425, um, and that's gonna be used to cook our lobster. And then we're bringing the whole kitchen outside today. We're gonna do everything on the KC Combo. So we've got the flat top gas side set up with the, the griddle on top. We're gonna cook our asparagus and our hollandaise on that. We've got it both cranked up to high right now. Um, we're gonna turn it down a little bit when we get to that. Um, but let's get started with our lobster compound butter. So we're making a lemon garlic herb compound butter. So we've got two full sticks of softened butter, room temperature butter in our bowl. We're gonna add tarragon, about two tablespoons, two tablespoons of cilantro, two very thinly sliced scallions, about three cloves of grated garlic, and the zest of two whole lemons. We're only using the zest, we don't wanna use the lemon juice in this um, because that will water down our butter. Okay, so we've got all of our ingredients in our butter. We're gonna hit it with a little bit of salt just to uh, bring out all those flavors. Make sure that's fully incorporated, stir that in. And then we're gonna set this aside. And today we're gonna be using our Pit Boss Blackened Sriracha Rub. I really love this on seafood. It gives it a little bit of spice, but it doesn't really overwhelm the seafood. And again, we really want the, uh, the butter and the herb and the lemon and the garlic and all that to really shine through. So we're gonna use a little bit of this blackened, Pit Boss Blackened Sriracha Rub. And we're just gonna sprinkle pretty lightly over the lobster. <clears throat> Make sure that you get, you know, in those little nooks and crannies. You wanna taste it, but you don't want it to overpower the lobster. All right, so Pit Boss Sriracha Blackened Rub. And then we're gonna coat our lobster with this butter here. So we're gonna take our butter and we're gonna put, we're gonna apply it fairly liberally here. So we're gonna put the butter right directly onto the meat of the lobster and just spread it out nice and, you know, not thin, but not thick either. So we'll just spread this out on all our lobsters here. All right, so now that we've got our lobsters coated with our compound butter, we're gonna hit them with a little bit more of the Pit Boss uh, blackened sriracha rub, just so when that butter melts, it melts that, that seasoning down into the lobster meat as well. So a couple things about grilling lobster. Um, first, if you have really big claws, you might need to blanch the lobster before you proceed with grilling. Um, mine are about medium, so I think I'm all right with just going ahead and, and grilling it um, without blanching. So we always want to position our lobsters with the claws to the back. Um, that's where the most heat is. The claws will take a little bit longer to cook. Um, so you want to have them where the, the majority of the heat is or where it's hottest into your grill. Um, secondly, we're going to start cooking it with the shell side down. Um, the reason we're going to do that is because we want that butter to melt and kind of intermingle with the meat and make it all tender and juicy and delicious. Um, and then we're going to flip it and we're going to sear it for about a minute. Now you're going to get maybe some flare ups. Um, we have closed the heat shield now. Um, we started it off open to really get the grill nice and hot. But when we put the lobster on, we want to close that heat shield to make sure that uh, nothing's burning on the lobster because it is a delicate product. All right, so let's, uh, let's get this lobster grilled up. All right, so while our lobster is cooking, we're gonna go ahead and get started with our hollandaise sauce. So hollandaise is really easy. It's just egg, lemon, and butter. Um, so super easy to do. We've already got our, our uh, pot of water going for our double boiler. So we're gonna go ahead and take the lid off this. Um, we'll put our bowl on top of our double boiler. We're gonna add our eggs. And we're gonna whisk those around and we're gonna let that kind of start to thicken a little bit. Um, don't let it get too hot. We're not trying to make scrambled eggs here. Um, so if it does start to get too warm, if you see it starting to clump, pull it off immediately. Um, better yet, if you're not too confident in this technique, set up a little bowl of ice so you can actually put the bowl uh, when it gets too hot right on the ice to cool it down. So um, I've done this a few times, so we're gonna go ahead and get started. Um, I'm gonna add the egg yolks and the lemon juice and whisk that around.
All right, now that we've got our egg yolks and our lemon juice uh, mixed together, we're gonna add this to our double boiler. And you wanna keep whisking. You really need to stay whisking this. Uh, it is a fragile, kind of delicate sauce. Um, at the same time, we're gonna add our asparagus. We're gonna add a little bit of olive oil to our griddle, add our asparagus and cook that until it's just barely charred. So once our eggs are nice and thick, we're gonna go ahead and add some melted butter. So we've got one full stick of melted butter. We're just gonna add this in to basically emulsify the sauce and bring it together and really add some flavor to this hollandaise. All right, so our hollandaise is done. So we'll just set this aside, finish off our lobster. Lobster's been grilling shell side down for probably about five minutes now. We'll flip that over for about two to three minutes to give it a little char, and then we're ready to serve it up. All right, so our asparagus is cooked off. Our lobster is just about done, so we'll go ahead and pull the asparagus off um, and put it on a plate, and then we'll go ahead and top it with our hollandaise. All right, asparagus is done, hollandaise is done, and guess what? That lobster is grilled and beautiful and delicious. We'll go ahead and grab that off now, too. All right, our lobsters are grilled to perfection here. Um, we're looking for that solid red color on the shell. Um, the, the meat should have a little bit of spring to it. Um, these look like they are perfectly grilled. So we'll go ahead and plate up our asparagus here with this absolutely delicious lobster. You know, what a great summertime dish, you know. Get outside, grill, fire up the Pit Boss Platinum Series. You know, you can really bring your entire kitchen outside. And then we're just gonna cover our asparagus with this beautiful golden hollandaise. Look at that. Absolutely delicious. Woo. Perfecto. There we have it guys. We have some amazing grilled lobster, some beautiful summer asparagus with an, a classic original hollandaise sauce. It doesn't get much better than this. Make sure you catch me next time on Platinum Grilling with Chef Sean O'Neill.